Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose and welcome back to another episode of a RimWorld Royalty. So last episode we dealt with some moods by helping out the barracks over here. Uh, today we are going to continue much in the same vein where the, the thing we are trying to do uh, is to get the people's uh, moods up and running. So we have a 8 without a table, so that means we really need to get the table going and apologies for the kitty cat, uh, she wants to hang around. Uh, we need marble and wood, so excuse me, marble uh, is going to be done eventually because we do have a bill uh, for that going. Any stone boxes? Right, because those are still in in the um, radius. Again, much apologies for the kitties. They are not well behaved. <laughs> As you can see, that's what I deal with every day. Uh, so let's cut down some trees and make sure we have the wood we need to make that table. I'm going to cut the grown ones mostly. Actually over here I kind of want to make sure we cut uh, these as well because those provide some cover to raiders and we do not want that now do we? No sorry those are more or less fine if raiders get in there I think we have a few problems uh, other than trees. So over here, I was thinking maybe I could put concrete over this area, but that would uh, close off a lot of rich soil, and I do not really want to do that. However, for the time being, that might be what we have to do. So we'll just do that, do the same over here. And I guess I can always use the fertility overlay to check if I ever need more rich soil. I don't think so, at least until our colony grows. This whole area is a pretty good as it is. Now, Roxy, I uh, still don't have any wood, so we're going to have to wait until people get to it. But if Sage could do it, I would be much more appreciative. Yes, kitty! <laughs> Well, yes, Kika. He wants to be on my lap, so today we have an extra host, I suppose. All right, so Sage got a little bit of tree, but not much. We're going to use uh, act, act, actings, act, this mod <laughs> to make her do some more chopping and uh, harvesting in the area, and hopefully. That will be okay, so now she is cooking. I don't need her to cook so much because we have some survival meals, so other things are probably better. Again with the radius thing. How much do I have to increase the radius to grab these? There we go. So she should do it all. Yes, and stop if she starts getting into break territory. So that is fine, we need batteries, they're being researched. Michael is taking good care of the concrete over here. And the marble tiles over here still need a little bit of making, but I think that is going to be for the, the colonists next day. So while they sleep, I am going to get that cat to shut up and I'll be right back. It is the morning, Kitty is now inside and should stop meowing so incessantly. So we did have some more wood, so now we have a table and some chairs. And that should take care of their need to eat with a table. Now, disturbed sleep and sweaty, those are more difficult to take care of because they will require... They will require some tailoring. Literally, we need a tailoring bench. All right, so the way I'm trying to build this cone is mostly U-shaped. We're going to take a change on this zone. We're going to expand it over this way and shrink it this way. And as you can 
probably tell, we are going to make a room out of it. So let's grab some granite walls and flip them around the place. We're going to move the table more towards the middle and we will build the wall down there. I guess we can put the door right there and that will be fine. I also want to move this chunk. That will be nice. So once that is done, we can continue on with the U-shape, make another room. And uh, how much do I want it to be inside? So that's three for the thing. I guess it's going to be five just to continue the motif. Uh, that big? I'm actually going to make it six along because I want to put some stockpiles inside that will work as input and output. You know how I usually do it. Uh, they will stay separated and I'll probably actually put a vent between them just to make the whole temperature management easier and here as well. In fact, wouldn't be a bad idea to just uh, vent around these places to let the heat uh, and cold make their way through. So that is something the colonists now have to do. Hopefully, they will be up to it. But now they do have their recreation, their food, their comfortable and uh, stuff rebuffed and slightly. Yeah, we're going to make things prettier as time goes on. Let's take a look at the room stats of the barracks. It's decent, mediocre wealth, it's tight. Because of course it is. Neutral beauty, okay, so we actually would like it to be not neutral, we'd like it to be beautiful. But I'm not entirely sure how we can do that. We do have the steel urns, but we could also get a marble plant pot. And I'm going to right click so that I can get the marble plant pot selected even though I don't have any marble right now but I will soon so uh, there's no problem with that now mad emu that is a slight threat so sage you have a gun and you can come over here Michael you have a bow very good over there and Roxy where the heck are you you're over here so Actually, Michael, you come over here so that Roxy can go over there with the, the rifle. Might want to actually stay down for a little bit. The emu is coming, so get back inside. Yes, just in time. Let's flank it. Shoot once or twice. There we go, and go back inside. And that is the key to keeping our colonists safe while they hunt the emu. And let's uh, just not take any chances with that. We'll set it up to be hunted just so that we can finish it off easy. And there we go. That is a little bit of food now. Uh, please hold the uh, emu. And there we go. We have more meat to make food with. Okay, so they have mined this area, so you can expand the fridge towards there and we can haul these chunks out of here. Not that it makes much difference, I mean this is the fridge, uh, but it, it will help a little bit. Over there it's done, so I want a steel door. It's not an inside door at the time being, so going to be made out of steel. I want one over there as well. Uh, and we need a floor here and I'm going to use paved tile because... Oh, well, because you can, basically. How much steel do we have? Uh, 426, so we're nowhere near hurting for steel. That is perfect, so I'm going to let them sleep and I will be back when there's something new. And we have a raid! The group of tribespeople from the tribe of Barga have arrived nearby. They will prepare and then they will attack. So it's one person, so I'm not uh, any concerned. Uh, yeah, so we'll just leave him be for a bit. Then we will get our people ready over here. 
that reminds me, I maybe possibly should move this, these further up. Like, let's align it with the wall here, and it's three up. Right, three up, three to the side. Room, three, three. Uh, we'll make sure those get constructed eventually. I mean, not right now. There's uh, no need for that. They are beginning. There we go. Uh, so, Roxy and Sage and Michael just for the... Because when... Oh, Pepe. Go to safety, please. I do not want you to get shanked there you go that was easy easy peasy and that reminded me as well that i need to expand the safety area because it is safe in here right now there we go we have visitors with trading items now that might be good or not hopefully it is good <laughs> Uh, so who is our best trade? I think it's Roxy. There we go. So Roxy, you are going to come trade. They have some pemmican and a few other things. I'm going to give them the steel knife we just obtained. And that is about it for them because I want that cloth to make some good chairs for our people. And on that note, let's continue doing it by making cloth armchairs. That goes very well over there, and we'll make an electric tailoring bench right over there. Yeah, I can make it right over there, because why not? That makes it very grand. There we go. And the cloth chair. They left us Glitter World Medicine. Oh, good. We couldn't even buy it, but they left it for us. That is amazing. We are definitely going to make use of it later. Now they'll make the stuff I asked them to. Hopefully, soon. Yeah, there we go. A good cloth armchair. That will make it better for whomever is stuck making chunks over here. We'll make, give them some light because they definitely need that. We're also going to need to bring power up. Where is my power? Here is my power. So we bring it up with a subsurface conduit on the door. Lovely. Lovely and marvelous. So we have a permanent summer. That means we are going to need clothes that are resistant to the heat. And one of the best things to make that is resistant to the heat is the cowboy hat. So let's make one per colonist. We'll count equipped. We will make sure it's above the 50 hit points. Only allowed in ingredients, and there's no need to pause it because, yeah. We will not make it out of any kind of wool, but if we have Hyperweave and Devil Strand, we definitely want that. We want any leather except chinchilla fur because it's expensive, and. Uh, yeah, Thrombo fur is going to is sold for much. Now I don't know how much the dragon leather sells for, but I guess we will find out. And of course, human leather. <laughs> we are not that kind of colony over here. So that is it for the cowboy hats. We will also make dusters. Make sure we do the same thing. One per colonist, count equipped, over 50%, only allowed ingredients. And we will allow all leathers, Devil Strand, Hyperwave, and just remove the ones we do not want, like the Chinchilla Fur, the Human Leather, and the Thrombo Fur. Very good. Okay, so the tailoring place does need a little bit of, well, a few stockpiles. So let's see, these are going to be low but they will accept a peril and it will be renamed the tailoring output right these is going to be a preferred i have a pause yes that's not necessary and it's going to accept raw resources no manufactured textiles perfect 
that is exactly what we want over here okay so that will be renamed uh, tailoring input and while the recipes are going to be allowed to look for ingredients everywhere they're going to be taken to the tailoring output and that's just so the crafter doesn't have to go um, all the way to the stockpile just to get their materials they will put it over here and eventually they will get moved by someone who is assigned to hauling what no power yeah we definitely need those batteries going and also the solar panels but first the batteries but then the solar panels the solar panels are going to be very important so with that out of the way we also do need some other bills for this mostly the button down shirts uh do one per colonist these will have a lot of the same stuff that uh, we we want for everything except in this case uh, we'll sell synth right it's not much better than cloth we'll not allow cloth but we will allow uh, do we want to allow wools though we'll allow hyperweave and devil synth okay so we'll just do the exact same ingredients uh, it's not that um, critical and it should also keep us um, well clothed even if we don't use cloth for our stuff so it's the button down shirt and some pants that uh, we want that is going to be the basic clothing of our colonists they will not get many um tattered apparel moodlets a little difficult to to talk well <laughs> uh, picking the the options and stuff but we'll get through it we we shall do it for the videos no i don't know either so yeah so we have the bill set up who is our tailor that would be sage most of the time uh, even though she's not the best at crafting i guess I guess I'll change so that Michael does more crafting because he does have a passion for it and that makes it better. We need more marble. Why are we not getting marble? Radius, unlimited. I don't know. Michael has a work frenzy, that's great. So there's... Oh, these are mostly limestone. That is interesting, but we do have marble on the map, so... Oh no, this is limestone. Oh dear. A mistake has been made. Limestone I don't think has any beauty as a material. Beautiful, but uh, that's from the chunk, not the... Let me see here. If I add a bill for a limestone block and I do details. Uh, da, 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 da. Limestone block beauty minus 12. So I don't think limestone is something we want to make things out of. Why did I think there was enough marble for all of this? I don't know, but we do have batteries now that we can construct. Let's go for the solar panels next. Where do I want to make a battery bank? Actually, I can just use this corridor as one, to be honest. Let's make a little bit of a gap over there. We will reinstall that over yonder. Make it a steel door. Replace these with wooden doors and finally grab the batteries and we will just put them that way on stuff. We can even put a lamp here in the corner so that when people pass by they can have some light. That's fine. We're going to deconstruct these. They're not necessary anymore. Do you have any perhaps ruins that have marbles that's steel that's sandstone i don't think so 
That's a lot of limestone. I really thought this was marble. What the heck? What the heck? Limestone. Slate. Ah, dear. Do we have some jade down here and that's that's good because we will be able to trade for it. Not right now, but later. So we are going to have to cancel this floor and well we're going to do limestone then instead of marble. So let's make the limestone and do until we have 60, the same thing as the other um, the other stones, we will pause when satisfied, unpause at 20, and take to... Ah. I guess we'll just... What this stockpile's on to? Uh, take the best stockpile for now. I mean, not that bad. So this is stockpile zone 1. So let's name it... Chunks. Uh, let's make sure it also allows blocks, stone blocks, and stone blocks, stone chunks. Hmm. Blocks, maybe. Stone blocks. There we go. So this way we can make sure that the bills say. That we can take it right back to chunks. There we go. Perfect. So we do have a bunch of limestone blocks. Let's make the floor because the floor, even if it's made out of uh, limestone, it's going to have a beauty of one. How is the marble version? Also beauty of one, so not much difference. And we get a pretty white floor anyway. So that's what we will be doing over here. It's going to take a little bit, but it's going to be worth it for a more decent rec room. So I'll let them do that and uh, I'll be back once there's something new. We have a quest here. A group of two travelers want you to host them at Dragon's Rose for five days. After five days, a shuttle will arrive to collect the guests. If you get them onto the shuttle, live transport pods with the following resources will arrive. Three Lucifer, you must keep the guests at Dragon's Rose and not send them anywhere else. You'll be able to direct them the same way you direct your own colonists. We will accept this quest because, well, the Luciferium is good for trading, right? So we'll restrict them to safety and make sure they can do anything they want. They will help out uh, with work. I don't really care about that. I will just let them do whatever they can help out with hauling and uh, whatnot and uh, researching. Yes, they're making this house useful. But that is all the time I have for this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, please remember that here, and there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.